Hey y'all, so I felt like this would be really helpful for those that are either just getting started in makeup or don't really have a lot of money to invest in expensive or pricier brushes or if you just don't want to spend a lot of money on pricier brushes. I'm just going to go through my entire brush collection. Most of them are pretty inexpensive other than like the MAC brushes that I have and I really don't have that many. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through these as well as show you my brush belt um, and just give you a quick little review on each brush, how I feel about them, would I repurchase it, price range, etc. So jumping right in, this is my brush belt. It's from BH Cosmetics. Um, I've done two other videos mentioning this belt and I will do my best to remember to link them down below. So going through these, um, I put my facial brushes on one side and then my eye brushes on the other side. So going through these, uh, the first, and this is in no particular order, is the e.l.f. powder brush. It's just a flat top. It's really dense. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this, but e.l.f. brushes are really inexpensive. They range anywhere from a dollar to, I think the most I've ever paid for an e.l.f. brush is like three dollars, but I'd say they're all under five bucks. Um, but like I said, it's flat top. It's really soft, really dense. Um, doesn't shed a lot, not that I've noticed, and I've had this brush for a while. The only con that I would say about this brush is that they're pretty cheaply made, but I mean, hey, I spent like $3 on it, so you can't really expect a lot. Um, if you have this brush and you have an issue with, see how it's moving? If you have an issue with that, um, um, so if you're having issue, if you're having an issue with that, I would say when you wash it, make sure that you don't get water in it because that will loosen up the glue and cause it to um, fall off. So yeah, I love this brush. I actually have two of these, one that I keep in my belt and another that I use in my personal collection. The next is another e.l.f. brush. It is the angled contour brush. I use this for my under eye concealer just to do that. It's really, just like the other one, it's really dense. I don't find that it sheds a lot and I think this was two dollars. I think, I really don't have a, a con for this one. I haven't noticed that the handle is coming off the base or that the brush is coming off of the handle, whatever. It. I haven't had that same problem with this brush so I love this one. I actually want to go back and get another one to put in my personal collection. The next is a flat foundation brush. It is J Cat Beauty. I got this from a beauty supply store, so I'm really not sure about the brand. Um, it's just a flat foundation brush. It's really, really soft, really dense. This is probably my favorite um, flat foundation brush. I have another one that I'll show you by Eco Tools, and I do like this one better. I would repurchase this. I can't remember how much it was beauty supply so it was pretty inexpensive. I had to let some more light in. I felt like I was looking really dark. Um, the next is a MAC brush. It is the 168. It's just an angled contour brush. You would use this more so, more so for the... I feel like I look really blue now. I don't know what's going on with my lighting. Sorry guys. Um, but you would use this for your facial contour as well as your temples. All that kind of stuff. It's really dense. Really soft. Um, I don't notice that it sheds a lot. I don't remember the price, but of course MAC brushes are going to be more pricey than like an e.l.f. brush or a beauty supply store brush. Um, I don't dislike this brush, but I'm not a huge fan of MAC brushes. You'll find throughout this video I don't mention MAC brushes a lot just because I feel like there are other brushes that are much more inexpensive that do the same thing just as well if not better than a matte brush. So yeah, I wouldn't say that this is a must-have brush. So take it for what you will. Um, for that flat powder brush from e.l.f., I would say that that's a must-have as well as the angled contour brush. The next is a Real Technique brush. It is the blush brush. Sorry it's dirty. I just use it to put my makeup on because my other brush, my other, my personal blush brush was still wet. I just washed all my brushes for this video. Um, but it's really fluffy, super soft. I'm a huge fan of Real Technique brushes. They're um, 
I wouldn't say they're cheap in price, but they're definitely on the lower end. You can find them at Ulta as well as their website. I love this brush. Some of the brushes you can get individual sale, other they you can only get in um, like a set. This I bought individually from Ulta. I definitely would repurchase it. I love this. Actually, I do have one con about this brush. The handle is really big. Um, that's the only thing that I don't like about it. It's just, it's really big. And I'm just like, was all this really necessary? Um, but yeah, going into the next brush. This is from Japanesque. It is just a duo fiber brush. Still wet. I don't like this brush at all. I'm not a huge fan of duo fiber brushes, honestly. The only one that I've ever been a fan of is one from BH Cosmetics and the one from Real Techniques that I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't like this brush. It sheds a lot. I seldomly ever use it um, just because I don't want to deal with the bristles coming off on my, on my face or my client's face. Um, but for some reason, I still have it. I honestly don't know why. I got this from Ulta. I do like the size of it. It's pretty small. So, yeah. And I do feel like this was more on the pricier end. It is the 942 brush. The next is a, a concealer brush. It is from Echo Tools. I don't really use this a lot. I used to use it all the time for my under eye concealer. But I find that it holds a lot of product in the bristles but it is really dense um really soft i've i've also used this with um cream eyeshadows works really well for that so yeah that's all my facial brushes moving on or that's all my facial brushes in my belt moving on to the eye brushes the first is an eyeshadow brush 239 from mac looks like this really dense it's more of a short bristled foundation or excuse me eyeshadow brush um i do like this brush it's not my favorite eyeshadow brush like i said for mac brushes in general i do feel like it was extremely overpriced um i have about five of the same eyeshadow brush that i'll show you next and i find that i reach for those more than i reach for this so yeah doesn't shed doesn't shed a lot um I don't dislike it, but it was just pretty overpriced. Oh, and I got that as a gift for anyone wondering, oh, why would you pay so much for it if you don't like it? It was a gift. Um, the next is the Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush. And I have three in my belt. I have two in my personal collection. As you can see, I love these brushes. I think they're about $5.99 a piece. I got all of mine from Target. They're really dense, really soft, really good for packing on color, um, as well as pigments or glitter. So I love those brushes. Those are my favorite eyeshadow brushes of all time, other than the Real Techniques one that I'll show you in a second. Um, the next is a Lancome um, fluffy brush, fluffy blending brush. I don't think I bought this. I think I jacked this from my mom's makeup collection. Hi. Hi, Judy. <laughs> um, or, hey, mom. Some people get offended or feel some type of way that I call my mother Judy. But, anyway, um, I'm not sure how much she paid for this. It's just a regular fluffy blending brush. doesn't shed. Um, I wouldn't say that I would repurchase it just because I don't know how much it costs. So, yeah, I like this brush. Um, I use it for just blending colors together. The next is a um, precision brush. It is the 219 brush from MAC. It's really good for those precise lines if you want to get a very defined crease. I use this when I'm doing a cut crease. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much it costs. All of my MAC brushes were a gift. All of them. So I don't know how much it costs. Um, but yeah, the only thing that I don't like about MAC brushes... Um, the, major the majority of them are white, and I feel like anytime I use a crease color, myself as well as anyone else that does makeup, it's a darker color. Why would you make this brush white? I don't know, but whatever. I didn't make the brushes. I just bought it or received them. The next is the 212 Flat Precision Brush from MAC. Not sure how much this was. Again, um, actually this wasn't a gift. I jacked it from my mom. Um, I use this for my eyebrows. 
I use it to, um, this is the brush that I use for concealer. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it's a pretty simple brush, so it's not a whole lot you can say about it. It's really dense, really soft. It's a flat precision brush. The next is from BH Cosmetics. It is a concealer brush. I got this to use for my eyebrows, but I find that the the flat precision brush just works 10 times better. Um, sometimes I will use this just to blend the concealer, and I also use this as a lip brush, a lipstick brush. So moving on to the next one. This was a brush that I got for free with a color tattoo. Maybelline color tattoo, whatever, 24 hour color tattoo, whatever they're called. Um, it's really soft, really dense. I recommend a brush like this for um, cream eyeshadows. It's very similar texture to this brush, um, but the Maybelline one is just smaller. I don't know that they still make this. I think this was just like a limited edition with that one particular um, color tattoo. The next is an angled eye eyeliner brush. This is from e.l.f. If you ever have trouble um, doing a winged liner, I would recommend this brush. I don't, typically when I'm doing a winged liner, it's with a felt tip pen, um, but if I was to use a cream liner or cream shadow or whatever, I would recommend using this. I think this was like $3, so if you need one, go straight to e.l.f. because I mean you can't really mess up on this brush no point in spending like twenty dollars on that brush when you can get it for three so done with that moving on to my personal brushes I keep it in this little glass container that I got from Walmart can't remember how much it was I would say less than five dollars probably not even that much and then in my other one this is an old Yankee candle that I um, cleaned out, took the wax out, and took the sticker off. Um, and then these beads I got from a mixture of flower, a flower arrangement that I got, as well as some beads that I got from Walmart. So jumping into the facial brushes again first, this is the buffing brush from Real Techniques. This and this one, which is the stippling brush, duo fiber brush from Real Techniques, these are probably my two favorite foundation brushes. Um, I wouldn't say I prefer one over the other. I love these brushes. I love these brushes. Um, for a long time I've debated about whether or not I want to get the flat top Kabuki brush from either Sedona Lace or Sigma just because I love these brushes so much. I probably will go ahead and get the the set from Sedona Lace. But yeah, these have been holding me down for a while now. And then the next is the contour brush from Real Techniques. Um, I do like this one. I don't really have anything. I mean, I'm not like crazy about it, but I'm not a huge contour person either. But I do like that it's pretty small. So you can make your contour really defined. Really defined. So, yeah. The um, Real Technique brushes, I want to say they're all under $15. Pretty sure. I get mine from Ulta. The next is another uh, e.l.f. powder brush that I already showed you. Um, next is the 188 Duo Fiber Brush from MAC. I tried using this with foundation, didn't really like it. The only thing that I use it for now is for a highlight and I probably won't be using it for much longer because I'm about to get a fan brush. So yeah, like I said, I'm just, I don't know what it is, I'm just not a big fan of Duo Fiber brushes. Next is the blush brush from Sonia Kashuk. I love this brush. I think it I think I love this blush brush more than the Real Techniques blush brush just because that one is really big and I feel like you waste a lot of product. So, I love this one. Um this was under $10 if I'm not mistaken. Next is another Real Techniques brush. This is the pointed foundation brush. I used to use this a lot for my under eye concealer. I don't use it as much because I find that the bristles are really prickly and they hurt. Um, so yeah, I and then I started using this with my Milk of Magnesia little primer stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I use it for now. And I'm pretty sure that I got this brush, this brush, and this brush, and another brush, a lip brush in a set. 
um, the gold handled brushes. And then lastly, this is going to take us into my eye, oh, nope, the Echo Tools flat foundation brush. Looks like this. I do like it, but the other one that I showed you from the beauty supply store, the bristles are softer. But I love this. Um, haven't had any issues with the making of it because these are really cheap. Um, no shedding. Going into my eye brushes, can y'all tell I'm getting tired of talking. Um, this is from L. It is a brow brush. It is dual ended. The first is the angled eyeliner brush. And then you got your spoolie on the other end. I got this from Kohl's. Um, yeah. And I've, I've used this for about three years now. No. Somewhere in between two and three years. But, yeah. I love that it's duo dual-ended. Um, so I don't have to carry two brushes. Moving into my next one. Another e.l.f. brush. It is the e.l.f. No, it is the eyeshadow C brush. I honestly don't know why it's called that. Um, and I use this as a crease brush, believe it or not. It's super dense. I love how dense it is, especially for my crease. Um, I used it for my look today. So yeah, I like that brush a lot. Then I got two more, no, three more Sonia Kasha. The eyeshadow brushes, told y'all I had a bunch of those. Then this is the shading brush from Real Techniques. I love this. I'm not sure if I love it more than those brushes just because I'm so attached to those, but this is more dense than the other one. It's a little bit more chunkier, whereas the Sonia Kashuk brushes are thin, but they are the same price. So I would say if you want a more classic look, get this one because it's white. If you want a more funky one, get this because it's purple. Um... This one, it's from the same brand as the other beauty supply brush. Another flat precision brush. It works just like the MAC one. I mean, you can't really screw it up, but yeah. Um, kind of flying through these last ones because, I mean, they're eye brushes. Not a whole lot to them. This is a fluffy, brent, bleh, fluffy blending brush. There we go. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's really dense for a fluffy brush, and I would say that I do prefer this one to the Lancome brush that I mentioned earlier. Um, so yeah, I need to get another one of these to put in my kit, because I'm selfish and I keep this for myself. Um, but yeah, I think this was like $3. BH Cosmetics is really expensive with their palettes. Their brushes are no different. The next is the 217 MAC Blending Brush. I would say that I do love this um, when I want to put a color in my crease but blend it at the same time, this is what I use this one for. Um, it's a little bit fluffier than a cre than this that I use in my crease, um, but it's not as fluffy as the blending brush. So, yeah. Next is another L brush. It is a crease brush. It's very similar to the MAC um, precision br precision brush that I showed you but that one the tip is a little bit more pointed whereas this has more of a domed curved tip if you can see that all right I think I'm finally done sorry if this one was really long-winded I tried to get through it as fast as I could if you have any questions feel free to let me know um, yeah so if you want good brushes you don't have to spend an arm and a leg for them, even though, of course, some of the some of the more expensive brushes are of better quality. But there are good quality, cheaper brushes like Real Techniques and Sonia Kashuk, um, a few of the BH Cosmetic brushes as well. So, gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.